What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about the stick figure squat analysis. Now this has become a very popular tool in coaching the barbell back squat, but it's also a gross oversimplification. So oftentimes you'll see depictions like this, sagittal view, side on views of these simple stick figure characters going through a barbell back squat. So oftentimes there'll be a John Madden like character that'll come in and start drawing angles here and angles here and you know center of gravity here to show you how you're supposed to squat. Now, if we squat primarily through our hips, right? This is only good for one of the three planes of motion that our hips are able to go through. So we have that spherical ball and socket joint of the hips that allow us to go through full depth and full range of motion of a squat. The only plane of motion that this side on view can see is flexion, right? So is the crease of the hip below sort of that bend of the knee? Are you hitting depth? Now, if you need a side on view to see if you're hitting depth, the answer is you're probably not hitting depth. Any good squatter will tell you, you can tell good depth from a front camera angle. So all you guys who are videotaping from the side, keeping an eye on you. So the best way to analyze or learn or coach or teach a squat is from the front. Flexion is taken out of consideration. You can see depth from the front of a squat and you can also see the other two end ranges of motion that our hips are loaded into, right? So yeah, this does depict flexion. Is it adequate enough? Is the bar over your center of gravity and so forth? But it doesn't depict external rotation and abduction, which are key to performing a good barbell back squat and a safe barbell back squat. If we think of this side on depiction, we think of just knees going forward. Now, a big part of cueing a good back squat is knees forward and knees out as an expression of external rotation and abduction of the hips. So what this ends up doing for beginner squatters is they see this and they just fold themselves in half like a lawn chair. That puts a lot of stress in the low back without that rotational abduction component that fires the glutes. All that pressure is gonna be put on our low back if we follow this simple model of learning how to squat. So whether you're a beginner lifter or seasoned vet, I want you to be wary of these oversimplifications, these palatable models. This is your body we're talking about here. It's okay to get a little bit technical. So if you know more about coding a computer than you know about anatomy of your own body, we got a problem. So I want you to go ahead and think of that next time you're analyzing your own squat or next time you're teaching someone how to squat. We'll see you next time.